This is for Mickey from Adam, her younger brother. I feel a bit hoarse, literally. I don't know you of horses, and you like my poetry. So as a poet, I'd just like to say, when I was 30 year old, I was a steel fixer's labourer. I got laid off one day. There was no work in the North East, it's true. So I hitchhiked to Munich, I didn't have a clue. I went through a lot of struggles, it's true. The bus got a limbo too late for that day. So I had to stay another night in a hotel, as you do do. I stayed in the hotel literally, and the nice Irish people were lovely to me. I had a lovely time in Liverpool, it's true. He told me the nice pubs that he recommended I should go to. And being a poet, literally, I talk a lot in honesty. I met some lovely people, it's true. And then I got the bus to Hull. I'm not a lucky person, what could you do? I got there literally and they said, Oh, there's no ferry on Monday in honesty. You've missed the last ferry literally. I thought, oh my God, here we go again in honesty. So I booked in a place literally, spent the last of the money, taking a nice exam and had out for a drink with me. Because a bit of companionship is nice and true. We had a good time, a good laugh too. I woke up Monday, what can I say? I got on the ferry to sail away. I was so drunk literally. I got on the wrong ferry and walk up in France in honesty. So I get to this little pub in Calais type place, literally. I says to the bloke, why are you speaking French? He says, because you're in France in honesty. I still got a lager as I would do. And then I carried on hitchhiking to Munich. That was my intention. That's what I had to do. Eventually I got there, what can I say? I was actually starving by the way. I had a choice. I honestly I could do. I could have a nice meal or a beer or two. So I chose the beer or two, literally. Well, you know, the Munich Beer Festival. It'd be wrong to have food for me, you know, this day. I struggled a bit, literally, and the nice Christians were lovely to me. They let me stay there three days, it's true, and I had some soup and some bread too. And as I was hitching bike, back, what can I say? I got a about Frankfurt. <laughs> I was starving, by the way. A nice from German come to me, and he was lovely and kind and nice to me. He even bought me some food, it's true. And, uh, I've had kebabs since, I don't know why I do. But a lovely lad, what can I say? I'll hitchhike your dad's farm and save him some money, by the way. He was at a university in Germany, literally, and he was doing farming technology. And a lovely young lad, Guy at Araj, I cannot remember, it's true. So I hitchhiked to his fa dad's farm, I got there on a Friday, they didn't have a clue. I turned over my suitcase, literally, walking down the big farm field, in honesty. I worked for, for 100 Deutschmarks a day, a week, sorry, literally. That's about £30 in them days, in honesty. Six days a week, what could I do? There was these horses, so beautiful. Stallions, two-year-old, too. They'd never been farried, what can I say? The farrier turned up, and he was a lovely gem, by the way. He spoke broken English, and he did do. And he tried to teach me. I said, they don't pay me enough money. I'm not doing what you do. He said, oh, they can't kick back, literally. They can only kick to the side, in honesty. I said, I get 100 Deutschmarks a week, mate, do they? I'm not doing it. It's not worth my life to risk it in honesty. So as he did his job, literally, he was a lovely man and a great farrier in honesty. He cleaned them up. And he First time they'd ever been horseshoed, it's true. Two-year-old stallions. A brave man too. As big as an ox, you can say. He could lift the legs. He was okay. He'd done a lovely job for me. <laughs> then a couple of days later, literally, I found all these logs. I said, why are they all laying there? Cut down trees in honesty. I said, oh, one day we want to get around to building a, a pen, it's true, so we can let the stallions out and have a run or two. So as a poet, I've got to say, I debarked them and chipped off the, the branches and made them safe that way. I've dug the holes, literally, and mixed the concrete. And the son came back off the university and he held them the post right, it's true. He put his finger on top and held them a lovely lad too. But I couldn't speak the Spragnesy German, it's true, but I could understand the language because I lived with them too. And he held the post there with his finger, it's true. And his dad said to him, you've done an amazing job. I thought, he's a lovely lad, but he's done fuck all, he didn't help me, it's true. I did all the work, literally, but as long as the stallions appreciate it, honestly. The horses loved me, literally. I don't know why, but animals seemed to like me. And they were lovely and beautiful, it's true. And it meant they could come out for a run every day if they wanted to. And I thought it was right, I thought it was true. Because it's wrong to keep horses in little sheds. Well, it was called a horse box or whatever. It wasn't big, I've got to say to you. But when they come out, what could I say? They could have a run, it was nice that way. Horses should have distance, it's true, because they're beautiful creatures. So please respect them, please do. So all the best from me to thee and to Mickey, from Adam.
have a lovely day in honesty. Do your best in life, it's true. And I'm sorry I feel hoarse, but I've got a bit of a cold, what can you do?